In this video, I am unboxing and reviewing the laptop cooling pad from the brand called Gpronix. This laptop pad is actually useful for to cool down your laptop if it is running very hot. In this video, you are going to see the unboxing of the product followed by overview of the product, how it actually looks and then installation followed by the review which includes pros and cons. Let's start. Starting with the unboxing, this is how you will get the package if you order it. There are no extra papers inside the box, you will get only cooling pad along with a USB Type-A to Type-A cable which is used to connect the laptop. Coming to the overview of this cooling pad, on the back there are two USB Type-A ports, one is to connect the laptop and another one for to connect any external devices to laptop. This Gibronix laptop cooling pad is built with a metal mesh on top and plastic at back. Below on the top, there are two plastic holders which helps laptop to do not slide. On the back side, there are two plastic clips or there to lift this pad up to a certain angle so that the heat is dissipated very easily. Let's see how to connect this cooling pad to the laptop. With the Type-A to Type-A cable provided in the box, you can connect it to the laptop easily. To check whether it is working or not, right after connecting to the laptop, the two fans which are available inside this cooling pad will turn on along with a blue color lighting. Only one color, no RGB colors in this one. Coming to the review first, I'll deal with the pros. What are the good things I noticed after using this cooling pad? Number one is price. During the offers time, you will get this product even for low price like 300 rupees or below 400 rupees. Now it is priced somewhere in the price range of 500 to 600 rupees. In this price range, this is one of the best options to choose. If in case you are getting this product for 300 or 400 rupees, then it's a great deal on the price range. Number two is extra USB support. This one is having two USB Type-A support on the back side. One is used to connect to your laptop and number two is used to connect any external devices like the external mouse or if you want to transfer the data also, you can do that. Currently, I'm using this USB slot for to connect my external wireless Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. It works perfectly, no issues at all. Number three is cooling and fan noise. See, I'm having a gaming laptop which produces so much of heat. Before using this cooling pad in the middle part of this section, typically like the keyboard area, I'm getting very hot if I use it for 10 to 20 minutes. After using this cooling pad, I can see that there is no heating at all in that area. If in case I use extensive, I mean heavy intensive gamings or video editing or graphic related works, even though the cooling pad is available, I can observe the heat on the laptop. So in simple words, it did the job what it actually meant for, but don't think like it completely cool down your laptop. Also fan noise is not loud during the running conditions. This one doesn't have any levels to adjust the fan. Only single speed at a single speed, single RPM, the fans will work. And finally, number four is clip support on the top to do not slide the laptop from the cooling pad. These are the good things are there in this cooling pad. When it comes to the bad things, only there are two bad things I noticed. Number one, there is no on or off switch for the lighting. Some people like the lighting. Personally, I don't like the lighting for the the cooling pad frankly speaking lights doesn't require for the cooling pad just for the appearance and the aesthetics they added it otherwise these are very waste only there is no switch button to on or off the lights because this will use your laptop power if in case we are having the on or off switch for the light so that we can actually save some power from the laptop and also this cooling pad requires 5 volts 1 amperes of power to run perfectly. Number 2 is no control of fans. As I told earlier, I am having a gaming laptop, it pumps so much of heat when I use heavy intensive tasks or games. This cooling pad is having fixed RPM, if in case they provided the different levels like level 1, level 2, level 3 for different speeds of the fans, it is really good to use these fans for longer periods of time. But this one doesn't have any of those features. But there is no option for to do that. These are the two problems I noticed in this one. Whether I recommend you to buy this Gibronix cooling pad for your laptop? Definitely yes, if in case your budget is close to 600 or below 600 rupees. During the offer times, it will go even low, like 300 or 350 rupees. On that price range, that is the great deal you can get this cooling pad. I given the link in the description box. Before going to purchase, just have a look at the price, then purchase it. These are my previous videos you missed. That's the video. See you again in the next video.